Oh, comrades, there you are. I just wanted to come on here before the video starts to say a very happy birthday to Captain Slav, who celebrated his birthday a few days ago. Comrades, if you do see Captain Slav down in the comments, make sure to wish him a glorious birthday. Anyway, I've got to go. The video is about to start. I'll see you later, my comrades. Suka bliat. Greetings, my comrades, and welcome back to another glorious Mr. Slavinator video. Today, I'm re-reviewing or taking a look at my Soviet late 1960s Red Army uniform. Suka bliat! I'm going to have a look at each item individually, starting with the pilotka. So this is your standard Soviet pilotka. Got the badge there. And then inside, nothing special. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of deformed on the front, but uh, no, it's, it's a fine addition to the uniform. Next up, comrades, we have the Soviet SSH-68 helmet. That's on the inside. You've got these straps, which I sort of put in there so they don't fall out. The straps there. And uh, it has got some markings, but uh, apart from that, it's in very good condition. It's quite heavy as well. A lot more heavy than the other helmets that I own. So there you go, the Soviet SSH-68 helmet. This is the ammo pouch, which did not come with the uniform, but I thought I'd include it because I think it was in the original uniform, but the seller didn't include it. So there it is. Let me just open it up. It is quite deformed. So as you can see, you've got space for about three magazines. One, two, and third one. And that would just strap onto your belt. And um, yeah, you'd have some magazines probably for the AK-47. So there you go, there's the ammo pouch. Next, we have the shovel. This is what you would use to dig trenches and also whack the Germans if you ran out of ammo. I'm just kidding, this uniform isn't from World War II. It's got that on it. Hold on, let me... 1994 this shovel's from even though the uniform itself is apparently from the 1960s. There's the back of it. And you just hold it like this. Bosh. Let's take a look at the case. So there it would slide onto the belt and you put it in there. This sort of little belt would wrap around the handle. And um, yeah, this is the belt. There's the belt buckle. With all of its gloriousness. It also has got this written on the belt. I don't know if that's upside down. And oh, there you go. That's written on the belt. Nothing else on there. It's very nice leather. Very, very nice leather. And of course that would buckle onto there. And then you would attach the strap system. So this is the glorious strap system. I don't really know how it works, although I did figure it out once, but uh, yes, you wear this to stop your belt from falling down because that's the last thing you want. You don't want to be running into battle and then suddenly your belt falls down and everything goes all over the place. So these basically just supported the weight of whatever was on your belt. Glorious strap system. Let's move on to the trousers. So they're a very nice sort of khaki colored Trouser, or pants, whatever you call them. These, I believe, you would put your feet into so the trousers wouldn't come out of your boots. Here, let me lie these down. There, that's better, comrade. So you've got your button there. And these are those kind of trousers where you would wear them and uh, your thighs would look massive. I don't know the exact reason why they did that, why they made the thighs on some of these trousers on the military uniforms look massive, but uh, yeah, those are the trousers. And now we move on to the tunic. So we've got that badge there. I think that's for the Soviet armed forces. You've got CA, and you've got these little 
star emblems. So let me lie this down as well. So this is the tunic lying down. It does look very glorious. And it also has those little hammer and sickles in the stars on the buttons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, that's my uh, Soviet 1960s military uniform. Sorry if I don't know much about this, but uh, I'm quite uneducated in the Soviet uniform community. So this has been my 1960s Red Army uniform, my comrades. Thank you all for watching, and I will be back very soon. Sukabliad.